Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% Achievement and Trophy Guide. And this time we are getting it all in Trails and Traces, the Tomb of Thomas II, or tat -a tat -a -t for short. Or it sounds like if you're sounding, you're kind of sounding like a heavily Irish drunk guy trying to order from the bar. Ah, ta 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 uh, anyway, this was developed by, um, by Because Because Games, published by Rather Like Games, and is available for a lovely small $4.99. So we play as James Labette, a detective who originally has a case of finding a missing person, only to end up on an adventure trying to uncover the truth about what happened to notorious pirate Thomas II, or Tatatatit. Um, now, as you'd expect with a Rather Like a game, it's short, easy, and achievements are a doddle. But it's actually not too bad for a game for their first, I believe, I think I'm wrong, I don't know, venture into point and click. I'm probably wrong, but let me know. Um, every achievement is basically story related, so I'll just show you the quickest way to, to beat the game and get another simple love 1k. Now, all in all, it's going to take around 30 to 35 minutes to complete. So, with that being said then, now we can begin. So, quickly go through the controls with you. You can press the A button to just keep, uh, keep skipping and spamming through the dialogue, which we're going to do as we begin new game here. Um, the left trigger, that so when we begin here, just keep spamming through the dialogue. Um, you're going to press the left trigger, or the left stick, sorry, to move the cursor. Um, again, just keep spamming through the dialogue. Now, what we need to do as we begin, press and hold the A button. That is what gets up the um, options. The hand is to use stuff, and the eye is to look at stuff. So, normally you have to keep hold of the A button, and then press the hand uh, the majority of times. So, we're going to take a uh, cloth, uh, interact with the cardboard box here. Just choose Investigate Box, and we're going to get a small key. Now, just press either the right bumper or the B button to open your, up your inventory. Press A on the small key, and then drag the cursor off the screen to use it on the locker here on the left-hand side. On the red locker. Now there's going to be a crowbar that's going to cheekily fall on the floor. By the way, fantastic wooden um, acting in this game. Love it. Um, make sure to, again, hold the A button to get up the options and then press the hand to take the crowbar. And again, press the B button or right bumper, whichever one, to open up your inventory. Press the A button on the oily crowbar and then use that. So what you can do is just, you have to pick it up. Uh, just press the A button once to pick it up, and then just press the A button again on the cloth to grab that. And then we can throw the cloth away and just grab the crowbar. So again, open up your inventory and then use it on the door. So again, as soon as you're sort of used to the controls and how they work and everything, it's very easy. But Jesus Christ! That, that big man's going to devour us all! Ah! Uh, by the way, we get the unpaid detective work achievement as well. Apparently he's homeless, but he looks like he could just roam into anyone's house. He's about 18 foot tall, which, buddy, you can have my house. So, after all this cutscene again, we're just going to keep spamming through the dialogue. Near worries, near problems. Um, again, this is all just, you're just going to have to wait for a second anyway. Just spam through the dialogue whenever you see some. Have you I have indeed. I'll take the thing. Excellent. Don't shoot! No sudden. If I see you following me, I'll bust a cap in your. Well, this said I'm okay. So when we are back in this room and we gain control of James Labatt, um, we're going to get the new case achievement. But the first thing we're going to do is pick up the wallet, which is on the floor. So again, press and hold the A button there, I won't say it anymore, but just in case, so pick up the wallet. Now we're going to pick up the hook, which is on the table, or you can pick up the Book of Haiku, whichever one, it's up to you, Book of Haiku. Hi, poo? No. Anyway, pick up the hook, pick up the Haiku, and then what we need to do, uh, go into our inventory again, remember, either right bumper or B button, I won't tell you again. Then just press the A button on the wallet once, and then use it to open the wallet. And we've got a bit of, um, we've got a bit of information. Lovely job. When that's done, we're going to interact with the computer. So again, just use the computer. Now what we need to do is select a password reminder. So select, select password reminder, password reminder. And then we can just leave the computer. So I'm not sure if you can actually get the information out of um, Gary Coleman right here. Um, <laughs> sorry. 
so what we're going to do is look at the clippings. So look at the clippings on the left. Use, of course, the I option. Now we're going to talk to Will Clemens, a.k.a. looks like he should be in prison. And we're going to go through every dialogue option. So just spam your way through absolutely every dialogue option until we can say, Give me it. I'll continue my investigation. Ha! Huh, not Gary Coleman, I mean Bill Cosby. Looks more like Bill Cosby. Sorry, right, interact with the computer anyway. <laughs> Gary Coleman. It's a hippin' and a bippin' and a boppin'. Choose Super Bang 7, which uh, sounds like, well, my kind of band, really. So choose Super Bang 7 right there, um, and James Lebet, no neck, will interact. Job done. Now what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to exit to leave the room, which is uh, just to the left. So we'll say goodbye to Bill Cosby, try not to, uh, you know, sexually abuse anyone while I'm gone. Or you'll end up in prison again. Yeah, naughty, naughty. Right, what we need to do is just keep clicking on the ground to walk all the way to the right. Until we can enter a back alley, which is just after Bazington's Thin and Crispy Pizza. There's the back alley. Go through it. I'm not a fan. Well, Thin and Crispy's okay, but I want thick, chunky, the sauce all in the crust. That's my thing. We're going to enter Trend, which is the only bar right here, or the only shop, or the only doors to enter. What we're going to do is talk to the bartender, and again, just go through every single dialogue option. They are the worst specials I've ever, ever seen, by the way. A spinach salad. Well, you might as well just call me a rabbit and cut my nuts off. Ah, right. Is it one more? Ah. Is it one more? Ah. Thanks for your help. No so, after you have spoken to him, what we're going to do is pick up the bag of popcorn, which is just on the floor. Literally the only bag. Um, you can shove your creamy spinach where the sun don't shine as well, mate. Sorry. So pick up the popcorn anyway. Now we're going to try to speak to the drunk guy. And we're going to be extremely unsuccessful at doing so. Um, just give him a flick on your beanbag. He'll soon wake up. Um, so you can try talking to him twice. You can talk to him as many times as you want. It's not going to work. But what we're going to do is exit to the city, which is to the bottom right-hand corner. So we can now leave the bar. We're going to go to Main Street, which is directly to the left of where James is standing. So head to uh, the Main Street. Now we are going to walk left as soon as <laughs> James hilariously walks like a... I don't know, he's looking like a piece of the crucifix or something right now. Just wooden as hell. Um, yeah, that looks very Assassin's Creedy, doesn't it? <laughs> I like it. Anyway, to the left, we're going to enter the store Basington's right here. Ugh, 9am till 11pm. Disgusting. Right, we're going to have to do a bit of, uh, there's this guy with the big fat butt cheeks right here. Um, basically, yeah, oh man, it, <laughs> whoever deals with these douchebags in retail, you deserve way more than what you're being paid. I just, why? Anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to get our popcorn from our inventory. Again, press the A button, go off the screen, use it with the microwave. And then what you've got to do is actually interact with the microwave to turn it on. It won't do it automatically. That's why there's a little bit of an edit there. So interact with the microwave. And we've just got to wait just a few seconds. As soon as the two people are looking, interact with the pet carrier next to the bald, big butt cheek guy. Interact with that. He's going to let the cat out and we're going to get the holy achievement. Yes, out some more way. And he's going to walk very South Park season one-ish away. Next, we're going to talk to the staff member. And we're going to go, once again, just go through all the dialogue. So make sure you've chosen all the dialogue before saying, smell you later. Thank you. Come Have you seen a man called Wayne? Oh, him. Are you sure you don't have very fun? Sorry. So when we're all good and she gives us the big apple, thank you, come again. Which, of course, everyone gets offended by by now. Uh, or today at least. We're going to go to the bottom left and go back outside. We're going to head to the right to go to the back alley. So ignore me for a minute. Sorry, I went to the left. We mean to be going to the right in order to, once again, enter the back alley. So we've got our smell insult for a bloody tenner. You know what? These days it's going to cost about 35 quid. Uh, thanks to the Tory government, of course, who continue to bend us over and use us dry. Uh, enter Trend Bar again. And we're going to use the current £35 smelling salts that we just bought on the drunk guy. So it should be levelingly in your inventory. Use it on him, he's going to be like, Oi, mate! Oh, nah, I think he's rushing this dude, actually, or something. 
Oh, what the hell, Nick? Mm -hmm. Right, talk to the drunk guy anyway. And what you need to do is just go through the dialogue once again until he basically asks for proof that we're helping Wei Um But he basically is going to ask us a, a set of three questions. Where was his last dig? There you go. So these are the three questions he asks, which is fine. We've already got two of the answers for that one. You better hurry up then. So choose the engraving on his shovel's handle is dot dot. It's not actually dot dot. What it is, is the letter W. So it won't be the question marks. When you know the answer, it'll be a full stop instead of the question marks. Now choose his last dig was in dot dot. Again, there won't be in dot dot, but what it will be is Madagascar. Leicester, there's not a lot in Leicester, except, <laughs> well, some AIDS and stuff. I'm just joking, Leicester. I love you. Uh, his favourite drink is We Don't Know Yet, so we're going to have to get back to him on that. Now, Leicester's pretty cool. I'd love to go to Leicester. I want to go to Leicester. In fact, I'm going. Right now. So, when we're done with this, we can just exit to the city after getting out of the dialogue. And what we need to do is head all the way back to Basington. So, walk back to City Street. And when we're done very woodingly walking, it's like we're trying to conceal a boner or something the way they're walking. Or try not to crap our pants or something. But it is very South Park Season 1. Anyway, head back to Basington's inside. And then what we need to do is talk to the staff member in here. And we need to choose the specific dialogue option. Hello, White Apu. Uh, talk, so talk to White Apu again. And then choose, does a guy called Wayne Clements buy drinks from here? And for some reason, the helpful Apu Nahasame Pima Pedalon, which is the whitest name in the world, gives us exactly what we need to know. Right, thank you very much. Thank you. Come again. Right, so out of here, we're going to leave the dialogue, we're going to leave the store, head back to the right. Heh, <laughs> what is that on his trousers? It's very hypnotic, in a non-weird kind of way. Heading back to the uh, trend, the bar, the trend, the trendy bar. Doesn't look that trendy, it looks pretty dead to me, mate. Right, now we can talk to the drunk guy, and once again, we can choose that his fizzy drink is dot dot. Pexy Min Cherry, which is pretty disgusting. Rather a bit of Dr. Salty in my mouth. Uh, never mind. Right, now choose, can you tell me about Wayne's friend yet? Nobody wants a bit of Dr. Salty in their mouth. No, no, no. So, and then he's going to go through it all. And then we're going to leave the conversation. After he's all done, we're going to leave the conversation now. Gotta go, bro. And then we're going to leave the bar as well. So exit to the city. Right, what we're going to do now is exit to Main Street once again. A lot of walking. With someone trying to conceal a fart or a boner or something. It's a lot of walking for a bro like this. Then what we need to do, again, it's obviously not a very big map at all. So we just need to go all the way to the left. So again, keep clicking the ground until we head all the way to the left. And we can enter the Danak Fine Art Building. The art is as fine as literally taking a crap on a canvas. And then people go, oh, that's art. I'll spend £5,000 on it, please. I don't get art. I thought you had to be good at art instead of just like, as you can see in the background, using a bunch of arrows and a checkered flag. Anyway, what we can do is look at the megaphone. So make sure to use the eye, uh, oh, eye, the eye icon on the megaphone. Then we're going to talk to the gallery owner. And we're just going to simply ask him, can I borrow a megaphone? And he's going to be like, oh, I might piss you off. Actually, no, we do. Oh, a trade for us, huh? Okay, let's leave the conversation for a second. Now what we're going to do is go into our inventory. And remember the hook that we got uh, from earlier on from Wayne's room? We're going to use that on the gallery owner. And then what we're going to do is get Krabs' megaphone. So instead of just shouting and then banging on the door next door, we're going to... <laughs> We're going to be trading Wayans hook relic. Which, you know, sometimes a detective do has got to do what a detective's got to do. So, when we get the megaphone, we can now exit. And then what we're going to do is, literally next door, the red building here, the music zone. We are going to use Krabs's, Mr. Krabs' megaphone and say, I like money. And actually, what he's going to say is, open up, you daft ball bag. And that's going to get us the store open achievement. Oof. Well, that is a unhappy broski. Anyway, he's awake. 
And immediately, as soon as we walk to the right here, the door's going to open. That'll do. That gets us the achievement. Press the B button, by the way, to back out um, of the sort of inventory using something on something. So just press the B button to back out. We're going to head inside, and we're going to talk to the record store owner here. And then say, I am in for I am in for and you know, Ryan. <laughs> Ryan. That's like saying Ryan with a lisp. I'm informed you know when. Lovely. And now, after this bit of cutscene, we're actually going to end up in the Danak Fine Art Building. Stuff's going to go down like Charlie Brown and a clown, Brown. Town. James, was it? He's hiding in the back room of the art. Really? Is this to do... You did? Very like It seems... I'm going to take a peek and... Frank, Mr. Redway, and how long we just need that book you are carrying? So after this bit's done and the conversation is done, we can literally just head out. Pretty sure it's actually done automatically, but we can head back into the music zone. So ignore uh, Tony Hawk's, you know, psychotic other right there. Uh, the cheap, if you ordered Tony Hawk from Wish, and with boobs apparently. Uh, interact with the jukebox. And then what we're going to do is play the police sirens. Now, once again, you actually have to hold the A button in order to interact with it. You can't just press the A button. It does not work once. So hold the A button on play where it says police sirens. And there's going to be a long set of cutscenes uh, in order for us to skip through now. So keep spamming the A button until we get the case closed achievement. And we end up outside a delicious Mr. Burns-like looking mansion. Wayne. Who are you? Name's James Lebet. He hired a detective? I heard police sirens that scared some- Oh, well, that was a- That was a genius. Did you want to wait for the- Actually, my phone died after Mitch. Damn. Did I should see my pops. Okay. Sorry about this, Matesh. I'll buy you in- hmm. He's just- I'll tell you what happened prior to me go- You have nowhere to run. Hand it over. This old book has no value to you. Do you take me? It's you. Don't mind me. He's getting out. That book must be one of. Once I escaped... Why didn't you call the... I do not trust the police. Yeah. So just who are these people? It was Frank Loretto and he somehow found out about this... What's so important about... Are you familiar with Tom... He was a pirate, wasn't he? Indeed. The really? That's incredible. If only that was the reason. It said in a Celtic... I fear Frank may have gotten... So what does this... As far as the diary... I see. Wait. I have a proposal. Oh. I want to hire you to get the artifact. Whoa. That... The artifact is worth millions. Whoa. If you find it... But I will do... I will pay for all your travel. I could retire. But I could also... Please. If Fra this could pay for my brother's life saving. All right. I can't thank you enough. Can't we hide that? So I think you'll need it to follow... Ah, right. Fortunately, the book... The chest is low. The diary... So I need to... <laughs> no. This is Newport and Rhode Island. America. Oh. We're off on holiday. But we're actually not, so screw it. We're not. We are James LeBeth, the Beast. Uh, but apparently this is the mansion that Thomas too owned. So now we found the missing guy. Now we're on to the pirate adventurer. So we're going to use the front door in uh, in order to go in. And now there's going to be a little puzzle. And the only puzzle, pretty much the only sort of, you know, quote unquote complicated puzzle, if you will, to solve. And it's very easy. So I'll just tell you exactly what to do. What will I? Extraordinary. Just you want to go into the basement. There's a bunch of, uh, well, you don't want to know what's in there. A bunch of corpses and stuff. <laughs> right, so let's begin the puzzle, shall we? Interact with the left statue. And then what we're going to do is push the arm up. So the top dialogue option right there, push the arm up as far as you're going to up him. Which is not very far, apparently. Interact with the right-hand side statue. And then do, just do the same thing once again. So we're going to be pushing the arm up. Up the butt. There we go. So push the arm up. 
Right, so now we need to, the, basically we're going to interact with the big thing in the middle, right next to the posh corpse looking guy. Uh, so we interact with the top ring. And what we're going to do is interact with that three times. So that was once, interact with it again for twice, interact with it again for a third time. Job done. Now the pink background with the black flag should be in front here, which it is. So now we can interact with the middle ring. So if you go down slightly, you can see that we have a middle ring and a lower ring. Interact with the middle ring to rotate it just once, which should give us a dark blue background. And then interact with the lower ring twice, which should be the red boat. So make sure to interact with that twice. There we go. So that's the red boat, dark background, and pink skies and stuff. As long as he says right there, there was a noise outside, that is when you know you've done it correctly. Or I think that did something, whatever he said. Now we can just leave the building via the bottom of the screen. There it is. So use the X-Wit. Now, there is a staircase where the fountain used to be. And the gardener has just crapped his pants, really, with that. Holy crap. Oh, man, we got a couple of flag shaggers right there. A couple of gammons. Gammonated flag shaggers. Right, uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to try and go to the right-hand side screen, and we're going to be shot at. Apparently, Thomas too left his uh, belongings, but nobody was allowed to have a look at them. Okay, right. So, let's interact with the chain, then, that um, connects to there the pipe with the pirate's leg. And then what we're going to do is just head back up the stairs for the time being. Uh, we actually need something from the gardener now. We're still wondering what the hell's going on as he wraps his wiener around the flag. Um, use the toolbox. Oh, I think Boris Johnson's doing a great job, mate. Yeah, Brexit and stuff. Anyway, interact with the toolbox to get the saw and interact with the fountain once more. So now what we can do is use the saw on the chain, which of course is connecting the pipe with the pirate's leg. How has nobody known about this since 1635 or whatever it is? And how are the cannons still working? That's some good cannons. Anyway, what we can do now is interact with the statue. Make sure to interact with the statue now. What he's going to do is actually just push it over. And that will safely... It's not, well, luckily, it's not going to break. But what we're going to do is just head to the chest. Little brown chest on top of the big brown chest. And <laughs> there shouldn't be no more traps from here. But anyway, when we've interacted with the chest, we've got two's key. And that will get us the achievement called two's key. Great music there for the phone call, and we're just gonna skip through the dialogue like hell again. Just wondering. You've proven yourself to be very just. Believe. Good luck. He doesn't. Need oh, the life of a private eye, huh? So, when we begin, what we're going to do when we regain control of our character, we're going to interact with the grey backpack, which is just on the left by the kid, with the rosy white cheeks. Um, if you interact with it, that gets us the lavender. He was, uh, basically, this kid was going to give it to Sarah, but, you know, Sarah stinks, she's not coming, so we basically steal it off him, so good job. What we're going to do is use the lavender on the stockade, the basically the thing on the right, what they used to stick prisoners into and they chuck tomatoes at them and stuff so make sure to use the lavender on that after that we can enter the pirate ship to the left of us lovingly job right what we're going to do is we're going to speak to pirate butt snatch because uh, he doesn't look like he'd be very intimidating sorry we're going to interact and say what sort of attractions do you have here which is the second dialogue option then we're going to choose about the stocks, which is the second dialogue option once again. About the stacks. And then could you pose in them so I can take a photo? Could you pose in them, mate? Because, you know, I want to make you go sleep, mate. So we're automatically going to go outside. And then when we regain control, what we're going to do is interact with the stockade to lock the pirate in. Okay, take it. Aye, don't be showing off with the key, mate, because we're just about to steal it off you. So when we can regain control, like I said, interact and lock the stockade. And that gets us the sleeping on the job achievement. Then we can pick up the pirate museum keys that he dropped. Hehe, <laughs> told you not to be cocky with them, brother. Right, now from here we can go back into the ship. We've got literally about nine minutes left now. Um, we're going to pick up one of the cannonballs that are just to the left of the desk right here. So take the old cannonball where you stick in that James I don't want to know 
uh, you've got something <laughs> sniffy to enjoy. Get the rammer, which is on the right-hand side, the sort of red-looking crowbar type thing, if you want. Again, net not sure where you're going to be ramming that, but hey, that's for another story. Pick up the rope that's just across the door here. And then when that's done, we can actually go through the entrance. So when you pick up the rope, go through. Now we can pick up the torch that's directly next to us as we walk in. There we go. So eventually, a bit finicky that one, but we can grab the torch. Now we're going to pick up the screwdriver, which is near the bottom of the screen. There it is, right next to the, uh, the cannon. Now we're going to pick up the cloth. We are basically going to inadvertently touch a pirate's junkie area. There it is, so make sure to interact with the cloth. Uh, so I'm sorry if you can feel this underground, but uh, we, I'm not touching you like that. I just just need your cloth, okay, mate? Ooh, it's some sticky substance on it. Anyway, use the Pirate Museum keys on the purple cabinet. So use the arrow there, and it should be on the next page. Use the Pirate Museum keys on the cabinet. And then from there, what we can do is just pick up the gunpowder from the top shelf. There it is. Job done. Now what we can do is head all the way back outside. So through the left-hand side door, exit to Recepcion. Recepcion, yeah? I am Italian. I'm really not. Exit once again to go back outside. Now what we need to do, we need to use the Pirate Museum keys once again. And we're going to use it on this white panel right in the bottom left-hand side corner. So grab the Pirate Museum keys on the white box here on the white panel. And then when that is open, what we can do is then use the screwdriver on the opened panel. So again, go back to the inventory, use the screwdriver, and use that on the panel. And what that's going to do is ruin the boys' fun, <laughs> but it does get us the a short fuse achievement. So, a lucky mega! Maybe you should get that white stuff off your face. Not a good look. No wonder Sarah didn't fancy you. Anyway, interact with the RC pirate ship afterwards. We don't actually take the ship, but we do get the fuse. So we get the achievement there. Interact with the pirate ship to get the fuse. Now we can go back in the ship and then just go through the other door. So back here, back straight through the other door. Now we've got to do a lot of... Well, we've got to do a lot of cannoning before a whole bunch of cutscenes are about to play. So, does anybody know how to work a cannon? Well, I'm about to tell you, apparently. So in your inventory, grab the bag of gunpowder and then use that on the cannon. And then wherever you put the rammer, you need to take it out of yourself and then stick that in the cannon. So back into your inventory again. Not sure where you put that. I don't want to know. Put that on the cannon anyway. And he gives that a quick... He's all done with that. Use the cloth now on the cannon. The white stained... The um, suspicious white stained cloth. Use that on the cannon. Use the rammer once again on the cannon. White and brown. What's, what were these pirates up to? God damn. Next, we can use the cannonball on the cannon. Oh, God, that was a hard one to dump out. So that's using the cannonball. Next, we can use the screwdriver on the cannon. Dashi blows, mate. Next, we can use the fuse on the cannon. Only two things left to do now. So the fuse, which will be in the top left-hand corner, the very first item that you should have. Dashi blows. And lastly, but not leastly, use the torch on the cannon. Now, my suggestion would probably be, if you were able to put a cannon, a cannonball inside the cannon, you could have probably just shot it at the glass, which seems very easily breakable. But there we go. Uh, so, that is done. Now to unlock the compartment. All good. We get the getting away with it achievement. Now, once again, a log <laughs> another long set of cutscenes are about to play, so we're going to have to spam through these as quick as we can. Hey, man. Great job getting the photo you sent me. One of them shared it. What is it? You're not going to. It's the mark of me. Merlin? As in... That's the one. He was real? I wouldn't go as far as saying that's for sure. I doubt he had actual... <laughs> in any case, he's expecting a call. Computer? Ring? <laughs> Professor Knight. Thank you for taking the time to talk. No problem, chaps. I would have... Where are you? I'm sorry, Professor, but we really don't... Of course, of course. Alas, any idea what this sphere is? I've been thumbing through my many... Typical. It is said that when the hold is secret... It... But where on earth? It's a long shot. Very recently, it is the fort called Camelodinum. Could be where the name... That really is a long shot. I'm afraid we don't have much... I guess I should at least go there and... Try. Excellent. Safe travels.
Ah, finally. That does look like Brythonic. Can I see the sphere? Wow, who knows what's waiting? <sighs> Was that? So I'd better keep going. Whoa, this place is huge. There, on that pedestal. Hello, James. How did you know to profess a night to speak? It sounds like you impersonated, but how did you know so much about? I interrogated the good professor. You bat if you don't want to be full of bullet holes. What choice do I have? Good boy. No. To c what, Thomas? Do you? I what? My memory is hazy. I was struck by it. In your final moments. But you're more than just a sword. The sphere has given you power. Join me and take your- Two! This man is evil! What, what kind of- You wanted power. I did? Two! I have something to help you remember- You do? Let's see it. If you- so, with all these cutscenes, there is actually only one thing left to do, and that is to go into your inventory, grab Two's book, and then use the book on Thomas Two. And then basically, we're just going to automatically unlock the final two uh, achievements and we literally don't have to do anything else now. So just keep skipping through all of the dialogue until the game ends, we get a final achievement and that is another wow, beautiful 1000 added to you, huh? Uh, Thomas 2 kind of, well, sounds like a very uh, poor man's genie right there, doesn't he? He doesn't even have hands, what happened to your hands, bro? Anyway. Keep skipping through the t <laughs> the greatest cutscene in all of gaming. <laughs> James Lebet. Ah, oh, goddamn. Great, great stuff. Anyway, skip through the dialogues. We're basically done with the game. Farewell. You. I guess I'll return to Wayne. James, I'm glad you're safe and sound. It was looking pretty dire at one point, but I had help from a ghost pirate. Thomas too? Incredible. Sounds like you had one hell of an adventure. Do you have the two relics? Uh, about that. Can we get a drink somewhere and I'll fill you in? Hmm, okay. This new phone you gave me is even better than my old phone. That's the least I can do for what I did. If you'll excuse me, I have more wrongs to right. I've heard of a detective who has a seriously ill brother in need of funds for an operation. You really have turned over a new leaf? You're like a different person. You could. So, looks like Thomas too just um, stuck his whole self into the evil guy right here and he's just basically being nice now, so... A uh, pretty fulfilling end, pretty wholesome end right there. But that is that then, guys and gals. So thank you so, so for much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the game, and I hope you enjoyed the guide as well. There should be a 12 out of 12 achievements all done. If the guide did help, don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share it with a friend as well. Uh, Matt Barker done a lot of stuff in this game, so well done, Matt. Fair dues, buddy. Um, but yeah, that's it then, guys and gals. So another easy one done. Well, nothing else to say. Again, thanks to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. And with that being said, I will see you in the next Rata Rata game, whenever that may be. Big shout out once again to everyone who continues to support the channel. Thank you so much. Well, goodbye. Big love.